Dave, this is a difficult question. Um, you ask, how do you see your, that is, Vito's web text as having influenced the trajectory of the field? Well, um, so many genres and para-genres and blended genres and the beat goes on, art, at work, play, whatever. Now, multimodality has been the word, at least for some. It's near impossible to presume to know when it began. Perhaps it was lost when we were newborn, just chattering, chattering, chattering. Uh, perhaps it began with possibly Gunther Kress, or more so, playfully so, ancient so, prehistoric cave artists, while we are waiting on post-historic caves. <clears throat> Whenever, wherever. Or then perhaps we are waiting on extraterrestrial aliens drawings that I've seen reported on the History Channel. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? But yes, perhaps Ness. I'm tired of hearing the word multi-modality. I love as well as find unacceptable Ovid's work, shape shifting, and the beat goes on. I think that moving from orality to literacy and unsettling ourselves in electricity and beyond is a nova event. Remember, for example, Burroughs' Nova Express, the cut up. But there's so much countless more. With electricity, we witness and experience numerous lines of unthought. Think as Greg Almer has thought and is practicing, for example, and this is one example, the Derridian notions of difference and the trace. Electricity is informed with the embedded word trace, which at times reminds me of Dick Tracy. Chester Gould's comic strip, multi with words and graphic representations. I will not spell out the possible compossibilities here. Stay in, yet out of tune, okay? Are you following what I'm saying? Probably not. You certainly cannot see how I spelled not, as in taking a strip of threads or whatever's and tying and inter weaving them to fix them, control them, but also in such a way that the threads can undo themselves being in a knot. So it goes. So many unstable possibilities that can make, remake, or numerous possibilities. Are you still listening? Really. What it comes up to is your relationship with language. Once again, I would point to the play work of Greg Okay, but to the point, or pointless, David, I see the question again, the trajectory of the field. I would expect that the trajectory, or rather tra trajectories, let's make it plural, as I've been leading up to, would be multi-trajectories, redetermined to go wherever they desire to go and go and go, go, like goats hopping around, up and down and entering non-Euclidean geometries. Or again, game, game, as Mallarmé spoke, wrote, dreamed, a coup de day, jamais, na borlira la hazard, or a roll of the dice will never abolish chance. Okay, then, let's think of this statement and how some say it brought the conditions for the possibilities, the income possibilities, to what we used to call hypertext. A throw of the dice gave us hypertext. And the beat goes on with syncopations or syncope. For some, it refers to rapture in language, thinking, walking, etc. One of my moms, Catherine Clement, wrote a book on the suppression of a syllable. Yes, Ness, syncope. 
she refers to Lacan's Imago. You all might want to read this book, both in French and its various translations. The bookless opens, opens, wide opens the conditions of possibilities for language and rhythm. And its practitioners, as a jazz musician, a drummer, I was at times drawn big times to syncopations, off the beat off the beaten ways, off the beaten paths. When I write <clears throat> or I am written, I'm disengaging with syncopations. And my colleagues tell me, Victor, I can't make sense out of what you write or say. I'm told I am totally perverse. This is praise This and, and, and can only make me so happy, really. They ask me, who taught you to write? My thoughts and answers. Charlie Mingus, Thelonious Monk, Dizzy Gillespie, Charlie Parker, Miles Davis, John Coltrane, Arnett Coleman, and most of all, Al Dawson, and the beat goes on. I love pickled beats, fresh ones, pickled. Okay, by now surely those who were listening to what I might have to say had probably already hung up. The telephone call. What we need is to multiply party lines.